Is the Big Bang Theory in trouble? Because the James Webb Telescope just detected a huge structure older than the universe. When speaking with scientists and astronomers, one of the most fascinating and thought-provoking topics is the Big Bang Theory. This is because the theory explains the Big Bang that kicked off everything in the cosmos. However, the event that led to the Big Bang is currently a subject of debate among scientists. This is why the James Webb Telescope was tasked with making some discoveries about the Big Bang. The JWST found something pretty cool, but it wasn't what the scientists were expecting at all. So, what did the James Webb Telescope eventually discover? And how does it actually impact the Big Bang Theory? Stay tuned till the end of this video as we explore the James Webb Telescope's terrifying discovery before the Big Bang. Let's talk more about it in today's video. It all started when an astronomer noticed a shocking discovery made by the James Webb Telescope. While Rowan Naidu and his girlfriend were at home, the astronomer discovered the galaxy that nearly toppled cosmology. While looking over the images sent by the James Webb Telescope, he noticed something peculiar in one of the snapshots. When Naidu looked through the telescope, he saw a mysteriously large object. Its origins can be traced all the way back to the time of the Big Bang, making it the oldest known galaxy. When he made this startling discovery, he immediately called his girlfriend so they could both gaze upon the light of the farthest stars together. His colleagues commended him on the breakthrough, and they immediately got to work. A few days after their discovery, Naidu and his team released a paper about their Glass Z13 galaxy. Since no one anticipated such a discovery being made by the James Webb Telescope, the entire scientific community was stunned by the news. This ancient galaxy was discovered by the James Webb Telescope only a few weeks after it began operations. A major milestone, because who knows what else the telescope will find after only a few weeks of operation. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, the most powerful telescope in use by scientists and astronomers, and the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, was designed to improve our knowledge of the cosmos, and it is doing so. The telescope is located in an orbit around the Sun that is one and a half million kilometers from Earth, a sunshade the size of a tennis court made of enormous segmented mirrors and extremely sensitive instruments. It is designed to detect previously unknown nuances of the cosmos. JWST's vision reaches back into the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang, allowing it to obtain more and better data about newborn galaxies than any other facility to date. This is because JWST was designed to glimpse the faint infrared glow of the universe's earliest luminous objects. However, the bounty of intergalactic baby pictures it has yielded has exceeded the wildest expectations of scientists. In a nutshell, the discovery of dozens of candidate galaxies in the early universe defies expectations. To account for this success, current cosmological models may need to undergo significant changes. These adjustments may involve rethinking the timing of the first galaxy's formation or the luminosity of its stars, or they may suggest that the nature of dark matter or dark energy is even more mysterious than previously thought. Now, two of the most intriguing candidate early galaxies found by JWST have survived additional analysis, lending credence to the idea that our understanding of the cosmos past is severely lacking. They were the oldest galaxies ever found, with ages of 350 and 450 million years post Big Bang, respectively. Both Rohan Naidu, now at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and Marco Castellano, director of the Astronomical Observatory of Rome in Italy led separate teams that made the discoveries independently. Both of the discovery papers, which were first made available on the preprint server, rziv.org, have since been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, with the first appearing in late November and the second in October. This is more than just a symbolic achievement. Astronomers were concerned that the true distance to these galaxies had been miscalculated due to early calibration issues with JWST's instruments. Since then, astronomers have discovered a number of additional candidate early galaxies, the earliest of which appear to have formed only 200 million years after the Big Bang. Before the launch of JWST, it was thought that matter was still slowly coalescing 
into the gravitationally bound clumps required to give birth to large groups of stars, making it impossible for galaxies to form so early in the universe's 13.8 billion year history. Therefore, we question whether or not we have a complete picture of how these galaxies formed in their infancy. Theorists have been left scratching their heads over this. The most pressing one concerns the nature of the role played by dark matter in the formation of galaxies. Gravity could not pull normal matter together to form large, protogalactic clumps in the first few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang because the universe was so hot. Instead, gravity alone is the master of this invisible substance, which means that in the instance following the Big Bang, when primordial chaos otherwise reigned, gravity immediately began glomming together dark matter into large clumps known as halos. The formation of galaxies is thought to have been seeded by these dark matter halos, which acted as gravitational sinks for ordinary matter. They have persisted to the present day, as evidenced by the telltale motions of the stars they tend. Even today, majestic but unseen sculptors of the present-day cosmos, like our own Milky Way galaxy, are surrounded by such halos. The speed with which early galaxies have been discovered by the JWST may be putting our knowledge of how these halos form to the test, and indicating that they have reached an enormous bulk earlier than we had previously thought. As a possible explanation, we can look to dark matter's composition. Simple treatments of dark matter, in which it only interacts with itself and normal matter via gravity, have been found by theorists to faithfully reproduce the large-scale structure of the universe. However, simplicity is not a guarantee in nature. Perhaps the growth rate of these halos was accelerated, and the rapid emergence of massive, bright galaxies is explained. If dark matter interacts with itself due to some as yet unknown force, perhaps via a particle that is not in the current standard model of physics. On the other hand, maybe these halos were just better at luring in common matter to fuel star formation. Castellano's paper implies that star formation rates were at least 20 times higher in his and Naidu's two candidate galaxies, compared to the rate at which our galaxy forms new stars now, which is about one per year. Another preprint paper based on data from the JWST suggests that galaxies the size of the Milky Way could have formed only 500 million years after the Big Bang, a scenario that requires star formation rates 10 times higher still than Castellano's estimates. But UT Austin cosmologist Michael Boylan Colchin says such enormous star formation rates push the limits of what is physically possible. An alternative explanation that has some merit is that primordial stars were better at storing mass. Consequently, the stars in these early galaxies would become more massive and bright, making them easier to spot with JWST. Even though such stars have not been seen directly by astronomers, there is substantial circumstantial evidence for their existence. Population 3 stars having formed in the ubiquitous hydrogen and helium gas of the early universe would be devoid of heavier elements, allowing them to grow to enormous sizes, hundreds of times larger than our Sun. However, like the brightest, shortest candles, the enormous size of these stars would limit their lifetime to no more than a few million years, making their detection today difficult. However, there is a chance that some of the more distant galaxies already discovered by JWST, and those even more ancient that may still await discovery, contain evidence for Population 3 stars. Such stars, which would be much hotter and brighter than subsequent Population 2 stars, and Population 1 stars like our Sun, could be responsible for the luminosity of these galaxies. More interesting ideas abound. If JWST discovers that the apparent early burst of massive galaxy formation abruptly waned in subsequent cosmic epochs, this could imply the universe was expanding faster than expected at the time, possibly twice as fast as predicted by current consensus estimates. This may have some connection to the effect of a specific type of dark energy, the mysterious and enigmatic force that appears to be driving the accelerating expansion of the universe, but is as of yet entirely hypothetical. In phantom models of dark energy, its strength varies over cosmic time. If these models are correct, then the effect of dark energy on the expansion of the universe may have been much larger immediately following the Big Bang than it is now. The theoretical model that incorporates cosmologists' current best estimates 
for the properties of dark matter and dark energy and the resulting effects on cosmic evolution seem to be at odds with the preliminary results from JWST. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about James Webb Space Telescope questioning the Big Bang Theory? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.